Hi students this is Ali instructor at Windows System Security Hardening. And today we are covering account hardening. So firstly it starts with account policy. And in account policy the first important security policy is password policy. The password policy rule are designed to enhance the computer security of a user. The password policy contains password complexity and password expiration. The password complexity tells us how to bind the password policy in terms of setting new password. This password complexity ensure that password must meet the following guidelines. Number 1 password does not contain the name of the user account. Number 2 password must be at least 16 characters long. Number 3 password must contains uppercase letters, lowercase letter digital numbers and non-alphabetic characters such as exclamation point, dollar sign, dollar, and number sign, hash. The password expiry policy are used to manage the lifespan of a password. It means that how long a user can use their password before it expires. The value of this policy range from 0 to 365 days. To configure the password security policy, you need to go to the local group policy editor. For going to the local group policy editor you need to go to startup then right run then click enter. Type gdit.msc in command prompt. In the console tree. Click computer configuration. Then click windows settings. And then click security settings. There you found the account policy. Click on account policy. And then click password policy. There you found policy in the security settings on the left window of the screen. Number 1. Ensuring force password history is set to 24 or more password. Number 2. Ensure maximum password age is set to 60 or few days but not zero. Number 3. Ensure minimum password age is set to one or more days. Number 4. Minimum password length is set to 16 or more characters. Oh ho! Minimum password length is at least set to 15 or more characters. Just press OK to proceed. Number 5. Ensure password must meet complexity requirements is set to enabled. Make it enable and click on apply. It will take a second. OK. Now. Coming toward account lockout policy. An unsuccessful password attempts while trying to log on your system might be a malicious user who is attempting brute force attack on your Windows system. Account lockout policy setting control the threshold of this response and the action to be taken after the threshold is reached. If he successful in his brute force attack, denial of service, DOS, condition can be created. But you configure the account lockout threshold setting the account will be locked out after the specific number of failed attempts. So let's take a quick demo. That how the account lockout policy setting control the threshold of this response and the action to be taken after the threshold is reached. Click account lockout policy on your right side of screen. There you found policy in the security settings on the left window of the screen. OK students. Here you see by default the value is set to zero. If you read the explanation you got better understanding what I am saying to you. So as you see by default value is set to zero. Now. Ensure account lockout threshold is set to 10 or fewer invalid logon attempts. So I set it as 5. Here you see account lockout duration is set to 30 minute. Now you can also change it as your choice. Same case with the reset account lockout counter after. So that's it students in password policy and account lockout policy. Thanks.